AI and market research. Does it work? Well, of course it does, but only when done right. Market research is a step-by-step -step process, and AI does not change that. Now, what are the market research steps, you may ask? We start by clearly defining the problem, defining who's facing the problem, and then defining the pain points. Then we move to presenting your research findings in a clear and actionable report. And then, of course, we end by working on solving the pain points. Now, you might think market research would need months of surveying to cover those steps. Well, actually, there are billions of data on the internet that can help you do your market research. The problem is finding the right data. Well, that was before AI at least. Ever since OpenAI's ChatGPT was introduced in late November 2022, the issue of browsing all that data and finding the right pieces was kinda solved. Well, the reason I said kinda is because ChatGPT is an LLM, or large language model, that uses recycled information and can't be targeted towards specific personas and problems. And this is exactly where IdeaApe comes in handy. Solving the issue with a machine learning algorithm specifically developed for market research purposes. IdeaApe makes defining pain points and opportunities too easy, allowing for a much deeper understanding of the market. Now let's dive deeper into the five market research steps we mentioned earlier and help you find the problem that people would pay to solve. So let's take a quick example of a company that was successful with market research. The example I'll be taking is the Missen Dutch Oven. It's a Kickstarter project that raised around $4 million based on their great market research and how they implemented the findings of their market research into their uh, campaign. So as you can see here, they immediately mentioned their value proposition, which is the three main points of incredibly versatile, built to last forever, and a fraction of the price. So they focus a lot on versatility, durability, and price. And what they do is they go one by one. So they start with versatility, and they start by showing you how uh, it's it has a two-in-one grilled pan lid. It has a silicon covering as well, or a Dutch oven. Next is why we make a classic, and they go over how versatile it is again. And they say the Dutch oven is a workhorse. It can saute, sear, boil, fry, bake, and braise from the stove to the oven to the table. So it shows you how versatile it is in, in cooking styles. Also how you can use it both on the stove, in the oven, on the table. And they also have videos showing how they're frying, how they're baking, and doing all sorts of things with the same product. Next is they show they go over the durability, which is the second point, and they show you like the product being tossed around and thrown around, how durable it is. They also do a great job in comparing between uh, cheap Dutch ovens, expensive ones, and Mason, and they show you how Mason is is barely scratched with while the others are. In, in a bad condition. Next, of course, they will start mentioning the price. Now, they go over how there is a bonus silicon lid inside, which uh, increases the value per price. And they go over how, for example, buying an expensive grill pan would cost you around $100, while buying the whole mason set would cost you around $125. So this is great value. You're getting lots more for uh, for around the same price. And then they go over, for example, how easy to clean it is, how easy to cook it is uh, in the Miss and Dutch oven, and like how easy to use overall. So it says it's nearly non-stick, zero maintenance needed, dishwasher safe. So there is no reason not to use it. So they keep going over those things. They go over and then the key features, again, durable materials, ergonomic handles, uh, larger cooking surface, high vis uh, visibility interior, and uh, the two-in-one pan as well. And they go quickly over the design process. So overall, they did a great job in, in showing their value proposition and covering all the different points. Now let's see where they got the points from. Going back to Idea Ape, I'm going to search for Dutch ovens and let's see what comes up. So over here, we'll be writing Dutch add and oven add or ovens. Now the reason we wrote this is because some people would write Dutch ovens, some people would some people would write Dutch ovens, and we want to include as much of the Reddit posts as possible. Now, one more th very important thing we need we need to do is we need to change from phrase to entitled. And the reason behind that is because we have 
basically three main options, entitle, phrase, and exact. Phrase is very, very general. Exact is more specific and entitle is the most specific and the most targeted. And we want to be as targeted as possible to capture the most relevant Reddit posts. Now I will press enter. And what it's doing right now, it's, it's, uh, scraping the, it's scraping Reddit for millions and millions of different posts, uh, that are relevant to Dutch ovens to get us the most relevant results. Okay. So as you can see right now, the reloading has finished and we have all the different results. Now, what it does is it categorizes them based on personas. So we have budget conscious shoppers, bread bakers, novice Dutch oven users, quality focused shoppers, versatile cookers, and so on and so forth. And it, under each persona, it gives us the pain points and some pointers over here. So this is very important because it basically highlights in a very uh, beautiful way all the pain points and the different things that uh, we need to focus on. So for example, as you can see here for budget conscious shoppers, it says their problem is the high price, which is, for example, one of the uh, three value propositions for Mason. Another thing is bread bakers. So they want something that they can, uh, they, they want a Dutch oven that they can bake with, which is versatility. Uh, novice Dutch ovens, same thing. They want something that uh, is cheap and is versatile. So as you can see here, versatility again, and so on and so forth. Uh, now, to confirm how effective Idea Ape is, what I went and done is I copied all the different uh, respond responses over here and went to ChatGPT and pasted them all. With the prompt, the following are the market research results I got for my Dutch oven brand. And I pasted all, as you can see, and wrote, please summarize the following and come up with my value proposition. Now, at first it gave me persona wise, and then I was like, please don't answer me based on the different personas and give me the general three main points to focus on. So I want the main value prop proposition basically. And what ChatGPT gave me is exactly what Mason has. So it gave me affordability and value, and under that it has durability as well, and then versatility and performance. So as you can see, Idea Ape was very, very effective in capturing the main value proposition. Now, the exact keywords are actually mentioned in ChatGBT's answer, which shows us how uh, how scary this is actually. Idea Ape was very, very, very accurate in predicting uh, the main value propositions or basically telling us what the main value propositions are. And this is how Mason, for example, was successful in raising $4 million because they implemented the right way of of market research and they use the right tool. So as you can see, AI and market research definitely works. You just need to do it the right way with the right tool. Now the right way is through the five steps we mentioned earlier. Defining a problem, defining who's facing a problem, collecting pain points, preparing a report, and trying to solve the pain points. And then you'll need the right product, which of course is IDIA. So sign up today, get your account, and use the market research tool that actually works.